Hello, I'm Lewis from TDI Tuning, and I'm here today to give you a quick example of just how easy it is to install a TDI Tuning box. In your TDI Tuning box packaging, there'll be everything you need to transform your vehicle performance. In the box, you get the tuning box itself, a bespoke vehicle harness specific for your make and model of car, the vehicle instructions, and also the cable tires to fix the tuning box and the harness all to the car. First up, we need to take a quick look at the instructions to see what connections we need to be unplugging. This is a good time to do this as we need the car to be cool before you start. The car remains hot for some time. It's important to know that each set of instructions will be detailed for your make, model and engine type. Typically, most installs have at least two types of sensors. Normally, there'll be the fuel sensor that is located here and the food sensor which on this car is located here. Right, let's get started. For most of our tuning boxes, there are only two connectors to unclip. On the odd occasion, there can be three or even more, but don't worry as it will all be detailed in the bespoke vehicle instructions. Once you have located the sensors, systematically unplug them and plug in the TDI tuning harness. You should hear a nice click when the sensor has correctly been clipped on. Once the harness is connected to all the sensors, it is time to plug in the TDI tuning box. You should see the box illuminate when you switch on the car's ignition. You do not need to worry about securing the tuning box just yet. Start the car first and make sure there are no issues with the connections and double check the tuning box is lit up. Now the car has been started and we see there's no issues, it's time to secure the tuning box to the car. Find somewhere dry and relatively out of sight, away from heat sources. On this car, we've managed to type the tuning box down here. If you've gone for the optional Bluetooth model, you'll be able to download the app from either the Google Play Store or Apple iTunes Store. Once downloaded, switch on your phone's Bluetooth, search for devices, and enter the tuning box's serial number when prompted on the app. Now connected, you can select power from one to seven from within the app on your phone. One is the most economical and offers a small performance gain. Seven is the maximum performance gain available. If you haven't opted for the Bluetooth version, you can still change the performance settings simply by using the keypad on the tuning box itself. Okay guys, thanks very much for watching. Remember, if you do get into any kind of trouble, we're only a phone call away.